Come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, Holy Spirit, I pray. Reflection is taken from the book of Psalms again. The book of Psalms was one of uh, chapter 104. Book of Psalms chapter 104 verse 30. When you send your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. This is the prayer we are often reciting and we pray and this prayer is also um, very much a part of the official prayer of the church um, in certain parts of the liturgy and in the other prayers to the Holy Spirit. Psalm 104 is a beautiful hymn praising God praising God's creation. As you see, Psalm 104, 1 through 23, the psalmist is glorifying the Creator who has brought everything into being. So he's praising wonderful Creator. You have made you are the maker so from 1 through 23 it is all about praising the creator who brings all things into being verses 24 through 32 verses 24 to 32 is focusing on the Lord who is above the earth he is sovereign God who is sovereign so 24 through 32 oh God you made the earth you made the creatures all the various forms including the land animals and the creatures of the sea 24 if you take a look at 24 25 and 26 you see that verse 24 Psalm 104 24 O Lord how manifold are your works in wisdom you have made them all the earth is full of your creatures 25 yonder is the sea great and wide creeping things innumerable are there living things both small and great 26 there go the ships and the Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. So all the details are there. All, and then 27 um, is, is so inspiring. The, all of these creatures look up to you, O oh God. You who feed them. That is the meaning of that verse. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. How beautiful. So we owe our existence to God's Spirit. And not just human beings, every living being. Amen. Amen. Every living being owes their existence to God's Spirit. So that is verse 29 and 30. 29 and 30. Now, the psalmist prays that the glory of the Lord continues to fill the earth. You know, he's praying, 31 and 32, you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. That is the words that we have in um, the official prayer to the one of the official prayers of the to the Holy Spirit. So, um, and 31 who looks on the earth 31 um, God uh, may the Lord, glory of God endure forever so he's praying that the glory of God 
might endure forever that is uh, his sovereignty continue upon everything so that is a beautiful verse God still is in control of the creation amen so verse 30 again to reflect upon verse 30 we need to understand that there are two aspects there verse 30 first is all creatures are created by the Spirit of God amen 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 second aspect is the earth itself is renewed by the Spirit amen amen the earth itself is renewed by the Spirit so what do we understand brothers and sisters the birds the animals and the living creatures all their continued existence amen amen so take note of that expression continued existence continued existence to the work of the Holy Spirit amen amen so the the creation was complete the creation was complete in the um, creation narrative you see the creation was complete God created and um, each day God created and God created and God created uh, but here there is a very important message that we need to take note the continued existence is also by the Spirit of God it's not some ready-made it's over kind of uh, creation it is continuous the ongoing the ongoing action of the Holy Spirit the ongoing work of the Spirit of God on the earth amen amen like the seasons the weather the climate and you know there is eco spirituality we should we are caretakers of the climate and weather and the earth and um, there is eco spirituality we need to be careful about that and we are accountable if we destroy the earth and destroy the nature and so uh, we have people trying to also l uh, help us to see the theological perspective and uh, the spiritual perspective so the Spirit of God renews the world now I, I, I I'm really inspired to apply this to our present situation where there is so much of uh, uh, struggle in the midst of a pandemic so may the Spirit of God renew the face of the earth renew the virus and the pandemic and the plague killing people is never God's plan never God's plan so we must be able to uh, uh, you know look up to God we must we must understand first of all and we must uh, you know we must be able to look at that grand working of the Holy Spirit that people make a mistake uh, in understanding the working of the Holy Spirit like uh, the mysteries of faith and the work of salvation the Holy Spirit was active and the people of Israel and people of God and then Jesus Christ comes and the people of, uh, of uh, people of God converted Christians and then um, so definitely definitely the Holy Spirit is working but the Holy Spirit is also at work in the world and we need to pray and we need to cooperate as human beings uh, we need to repent for blocking the work of the Holy Spirit uh, with regard to renewing the earth we are blocking as human beings we are blocking the work of the Holy Spirit the work of the Holy Spirit um, the continued work of the Holy Spirit in the earth so let us uh, look up and let us open our eyes to see that wider perspective of the Holy Spirit's 
work upon this earth in the world today and in all the creation amen so let us pray friends oh lord our god thank you for sending your spirit to create and to renew we thank you for your continuous work through the spirit thank you holy spirit how wonderful are your works how magnificent are your works of creation and works of renewal come lord come o holy spirit renew the face of the earth and we truly believe when you renew our land will be healed the people will receive healing we entrust ourselves unto your gracious care we and we entrust our world and this earth unto your gracious care renew the face of the earth amen Come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, Holy Spirit, I pray. Come with your strength and your power. Come in your own gentle way. 